Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got a lager to review for you and it's um, it's a bit of an icon. It's a bit of a classic, um, at least if you're in Africa. Not so much over here, but it's a well-recognised brand. It's Tusker with some of the best branding I've ever seen on any beer ever. I love that logo. I love it. Always have done. Finest quality lager, imported medium beer, whatever that means. 4.2% ABV. Um, where in Africa is this stuff brewed? Kenya, there you go. Kenya, imported Kenyan lager. This isn't brewed over here, this is still Kenyan. Together forever. When you open a bottle of Tusker, you are joining the world and celebrating one of Africa's great original beers. Tusker has been brewed with care, craft and love since 1922. Every crisp, clean mouthful summons up the taste, sunshine and love of life of its African roots. Brewed by East African Breweries Group. Imported by Cato Enterprises, who are based in Surrey apparently. So yeah, this is a legitimate Kenyan lager. Love it. That branding is so good. There is the bottle cap. The same, Tusker, with the elephant. Which everyone knows is the greatest animal in the world. Um, yeah. Where's my bar blade? There it is. Let's get this bad boy open. 4.2% lager. Imported from Africa. No! Just smoke coming off the opening of this one. Let's get it poured. Get it into a glass. Brown glass, which is always good. Um, I picked this bottle up in my local uh, co-op. I say co-op. Co-op own the group. I think it's Anissa. It's Anissa. It's a little shop around the corner from our gaff. And they had it in there. And I was like, ooh. I haven't had that one for ages. I certainly haven't reviewed it. But there's the brand the bottle. Brown bowl. Brown glass bottle. Brilliant branding. There it is. A haze with the light on that one. Slight haze to the lager. Not completely filtered. Which is encouraging. Let's get me snouting. And uh, see what the aromas are telling us. Not a lot. A slight sweetness. And it's a multi sweetness. There's no hoppy character coming out on that aroma. A slight caramelly, honey, sweet aroma. Yeah, that's all she wrote, really. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's um that's really malty. It's a really malty lager and it's a lovely sweet malt. It's definitely doing all the work. There is a good bit of body to it. It's not trying to be crisp and zesty. It's trying to be more of the sweeter, malty, fuller type of lager. More of a meal of a lager. It's not light. It's not just a fizz monster and then you have a swig and you forget about it. There is a sweet, malty... And a quite a considerable body to this lager. Oh. That really is rather pleasant. Subtle citrus flavours, kind of a touch of lemon, like a honeyed lemon thing going on. And at the back end, it is, it's just more malt. There's no real bitterness to speak of. It's very one dimensional, but it's 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 really nice. It is just sweet, soft on the palate, malty, like a bready, like a bready lager. A sweet honeyed bready lager type of lager. 
Lager. How many times am I going to say the word lager? A sweet, bready lager. And it's only low ABV. It's only 4.2. This, um, yeah, this is actually really, really nice. It's actually really, really nice. A little bit more coming from an aroma now. Now, I, now that I can give this beer a little bit of a shake without chucking it all over myself. There's a bit more of that sort of slightly citrusy, lemony, honeyed lemon flavour that I spoke of earlier. It is. It's honey, lemon and white bread on that. Excuse me. Let's say ingredients wise. It doesn't actually say, doesn't actually state any ingredients. Imported medium beer, 4.2%. But it's a very easy drinking. Very easy drinking, nice and malty. Lager, that is, that's a lager for the more distinguished gentleman amongst us, I think. The older drinker. Perhaps people who are a little bit more partial to a bitter. Um, I think if you presented that lager to them, they might be like, mm, okay. That's kind of like sort of a lager golden ale hybrid. Because it's more malt forward than it is hops. Because there's body to it, as opposed to like a light shit lager. It really carries in the, on the palate and it, it, it continues. I can still taste it now and it's been a good 30 seconds I've been waffling without having a swig. It's a very nice lager. I like that. I do like I'm not got a bad word to say about it. I like the fact that a brewery's just gone, you know, we'll, we'll kind of cut back on the hops and we'll do a nice, you know, well-balanced multi-lager. I've got no issue with that. I'd be interested to know the brewing process because the good German lagers, they sit in sort of the fermenting stage for a, a good sort of three months or so. That one, this one tastes like it's got a bit of age to it. Like it was done properly. It was done slowly. It's a nice, relaxing, easy drinking lager. Um, and again, on top of that branding, that's class. That's class. Uh, I really like that. I'm really, really enjoying that. Nice, malty, easy drinking lager. Tusker. I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. Sod it. I like it. I like it. It's not game changing. It's not blowing my mind. But it's uh, a very easy drinking lager. Which I would drink quite happily. And buy quite happily. Again. So there you go. Tusker. 8 out of 10 for me. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Do appreciate that. Till my next one. You take care.